way we are going to discuss about self fractionation. Self fractionation uh, basically is a process in which we separate the specific components of cell, in which we separate the components of cell, including the cell organelles and the molecules of the cell distinctively. So we separate the components of the cell uh, from each other. We separate the component cells from each other, which is known as self fractionation, and that includes two major steps. Self fractionation was two major steps. First step is homogenization, and second step is uh, involving sedimentation, which is sent which is for the centrifugation. Sedimentation and uh, which is done through the centrifugation process. First, homogenization is the process of breaking up the large uh, tissue cells, breaking up large tissue cells into smaller, breaking up large tissue cells into uh, individual tissue cells which includes the example of for the first this is a bunch of tissue uh, this is a bunch of cells within a tissue uh, it's hard to draw over here a bunch of cells within a tissue now when it is homogenized by a blender like machine which is known as a homogenizer instead of homogenizer there is also a substitute which is known as a Mirota, a Mirota, and Mirota, and uh, name is pet pestle. Mirota, Mirota, and pestle, which I use to substitute homogenizer, but in most cases, that's a homogenizer. So, homogenizer, whenever it applies pressure over the tissues of the cell, it causes the, that homogenizer causes the tissues of the cell. To have their plasma membrane abrupted, due to which their plasma membrane is abrupted and cell organelles come out of the cell. And um, this is the first step of homogenization. There are some conditions uh, in order to utilize the process of homogenization. That in homogenization, the molecule, the solution should be cold, which means there should be a low temperature because enzymes are inactive at that temperature uh, but not denatured. So that the cell remains alive and uh, so that the cell does not uh, get damaged as well insoluble uh, as well as it should have an isotonic solution isotonic solution uh, has no net movement due to which uh, there will be no chances of uh, losing or gaining a much amount of uh, concentration of fluid and should, there should be an optimum pH, a proper pH, proper ionic composition, proper pH, proper ionic composition, and uh, temperature, which is already mentioned. So here, these are the few things apart from which uh, we are having uh, other con conditions that when it is uh, cured, that in case of plant cells, we also utilize uh, a, an enzyme inside. The homogenizer solution, which is known as pectinase, in order to uh, destroy the middle lamella, which is present in between the plant cells. Rest in case of animal cells, pectinase is not utilized, and when it is utilized, it causes to um, break, causes to abrupt the plasma membrane, causing the cell organelles to come out. This is how the structure is formed, and after this. After this structure, uh, let us now discuss uh, another thing uh, which is related to sedimentation. So here sedimentation is a process, uh, sedimentation is a process in which something uh, material comes towards the bottom side. Sedimentation is a process in which material comes towards the bottom side as we have known about rock sedimentation in which rocks come beneath the water. Sedimentation occurs in that case. Now, in the same manner, there is sedimentation over here in which sedimentation of a different material occurs, which is a cell, a cellular material, either the cell organelle or the molecule. Now, sedimentation occurs through centrifugation, and centrifugation is a process in which a centrifugal force is utilized in order to separate the materials of a cell on the basis of their mass, volume, and density. In that case, uh, also on the basis of the surface area. 
so here how centrifugation occurs centrifugation occurs uh, by means of uh, a machine which is on a centrifuge inside which the chemical is placed inside which the chemical uh, or the whatever the cellular material is it is placed now as the cellular material is placed inside it uh, that centrifuge causes to spin rapidly first it spins at a low speed it spins at a low speed after that uh, first it spins at a low speed why if, because when it spins at a low speed it causes to separate the heavy molecules present inside the cell heavy organisms inside the cell uh, downwards and lighter molecules upwards the heavy molecules which are settled downwards are known as the pellet or debris which are the heavy molecules which are the sedimented material known as debris or pellet and the remaining material is supernatant which is kept over or which is kept over the top which is present over the top of the centrifuge now in that case uh, uh, when we allow a low speed that low speed causes uh, initial heavy molecules to uh, be separated and these molecules when isolated cause to uh, do another type of centrifugation in which there is a uh, high speed and that high speed is around 60000 cycles that high speed is around 60000 uh, cycles per minute that high speed is around 60000 cycles per minute or 1000 hertz that cycle is uh, uh, that uh, frequency is uh, 1000 hertz which causes which causes to uh, rapidly spin the centrifuge and uh, due to this the molecules are separated in such a manner that heavy molecules come downside and uh, supernatant comes uh, over the top in that case uh, previously let us take the example in uh, practical terms in practical terms first for suppose if uh, no if only centrifugation is occurring then there would be the nucleus the heaviest organelle which would be separated after that when uh, another material such as for suppose we are having we are having mitochondria and chloroplast now uh, in the second process which is known as ultra centrifugation high speed will be provided high frequency will be there 1000 hertz uh, 60000 cycles per minute due to which the 60000 cycles per minute so 1000 hertz frequency is there due to which the freak due to which it will become as mitochondria due to which the heavy material in the pellet or the debris will be mitochondria and the chloroplast rest the lightest materials lightest material which will be present uh, in the supernatant will be ribosome and that is having its size as 20 nanometer one more thing that uh, this is uh, measured in the form of uh, coefficient on a sedimentation coefficient Uh, also known as Swedberg's unit S, uh, and that is not additive, which means it is uh, not additive in a case that here uh, it is based on a few things, including mass, volume, density, and surface area. Where mass, volume, and density can be, uh, however, added, but surface area can be changed whenever we are combining two different molecules. For example, we are having example of ribosomes that when 50s and 30s ribosome combine together there should be a 80s ribosome but there is a 70s ribosome why because the surface area of both of the ribosomes is lost as both of those ribosomes combine together merge with each other due to which the surface area is lost due to which in that case they are not additive and uh, the 70s ribosome is formed so this is how it works and uh, yeah that's all about the video hopefully